Hey guys, what's going on? It's Elgo Airlines attempting a recording. We're going to be flying around the local airport. <clears throat> and uh, we will be arriving at the local airport. So let's just go ahead and fly around, see what we can do with the recording. See how it looks, see if it's choppy. It needs to be switched. We're not going to do it in the dark. So I think we're cleared for takeoff here. ATC is good. We're going to open up. We already have it opened up for us over here on the left. We have our nav map, our sky for sin built in here. And we need to change our weather. So let's see. No touchy. Go ahead and get rid of the wind layer at this point, just because we're going to be flying around. And I don't want to fly at night, so let's go ahead and fly first thing in the morning. 9 a.m. sounds good. I can close that there. Put this on my second monitor so we don't need to look at it, or we can just make it smaller. There we go. Put it up here. And let's see here. So <clears throat> I'm a noob to this, of course. So what we're going to do overall here is we are going to just use my basic buttons till I get better. I do have a uh, E1600 and a throttle setup. So it is relatively realistic, but. Plane always likes to start off to the left. Maybe need to calibrate the stick, probably. With the software, but we're good. We're going to get up to 40 kilometers. Or not, it's kilometers. I'm stupid. Ha! Stressing out the airplane just a little bit. We'll bring the flaps out, even though it helps with a pretty solid climb. I'm going to get up to about 2,000 feet or so. And then we'll take you around some of the most notable spots in the Traverse City area. Super fun. Super, super good time to play this game. It's uh, always something that <clears throat> keeps you keeps you on your toes, keeps you excited. Apparently, when I put my webcam on at the same time as I'm recording, it kills frames. So I turned the webcam off, but that's okay. And put the flaps back to four to ten percent. That'll help us climb a little bit. Air speed is approaching seventy knots. Stand steady as we climb. I'm gonna bring that down. Other way. Around this area, we've got uh, we're at 1,600 feet and cruising. Go in here, make sure we're cruising down Front Street. What I found is the trim gets super hyper, <clears throat> super aggressive at higher speeds. Everybody knows that, but I don't know how to fly. This is like my second week of trying to figure out how to how to fly a little bit. So it's been fun.
I'm mostly doing this for my family members as well, so that they can see it's kind of where they live and how it all operates. I'm recording a video, B. Yeah, we're gonna go by Uncle Jay's house. Uncle Jay. Oh. Foolproof plan thing. Sorry. Wheel of Fortune. Had a Wheel of Fortune moment. So we're going to take us around Long Lake area, and then uh, we will go back for a nice little buttery landing, hopefully. Hopefully we see some improvement here, but if everybody's doing well. Generally, you can find me live on Twitch at Algorithm TTV. I do most of my stuff there. Ooh, did we just have a little hiccup right there? I think we did. Generally, I do most of my work... Or, at, you know, network. I do most of my entertainment and stuff there. Um, but I've been wanting to do a little bit with YouTube. I, I like the YouTube platform. I like the idea of uh, just making some, some flight simulator stuff for for the heck of it. Maybe uh, call it like, how, a, how does a noob get along? You know, trying to learn how to, how to play. Yeah, no problem. Frequency change. And I've already retracted the flaps, so I'm tired of the tips. Like, I don't, I need to figure out where to turn off the tips. Feel free to leave a comment down below on what I should do to improve everything, because I'm all for it. I like to learn. I don't mind if people tell me what to do or how to do it. I do enjoy it. This is a Cessna 152. There is no autopilot. Over to our left, we have Silver Lake. Down below, behind it, is Bass Lake. And we are approaching Long Lake now. Put the nose down a little bit, or we'll let you see out the front here. But this approach, right now, at this point, we're going over Moomers, the world's famous ice cream. Or according to everybody, I think Biden was there or something, got some ice cream, or was it somebody, I don't know. Yeah, maybe a little past it. That's okay. There you go. There, there you go. It's right there. It's back there by those trailers. Across from the trailers. That's Moomers. Moomers Farm. We're going to lower down a little bit. Let's bring our airspeed back. Bring our throttle down. It's going to want to climb, but we're going to force it down. So we'll bring down some engine power. Former school right there. We're going to go real low. It's for a family member that we get in here. Oh, it's trying to hiccup a little bit, guys. The, I think the 3070 is having a tough time playing this game in the kind of quality settings that I have. And also recording. And I think I have this game in, like, ultra quality. And I'm recording 1080p, 60 frames. So right now we're flying over a hood that is very familiar to my family right there. Hope you saw that, guys. So we're going to start a little climb up here out to the left. Also, I've been wondering, what do people like? Do people like, you know, cockpit photos, videos, things like that? Do they like seeing where you're going? Does it matter? Because I'm not doing a how-to. I'm just doing a flying over cool places type thing and places that have value and meaning to us we'll take this bad boy just gas it up a little bit get a little more airspeed around thousand feet it's probably fine for the assessment to be at a thousand feet I need 360 I'm not paying attention to the tower at this point because this is just kind of like a free fly that's gonna be okay with me just to free fly this bad boy <clears throat> 
we are over Long Lake, and this is a, I always forget the name of this, I should always remember that, but it's a little tributary off of Long Lake, great spot to bass fish, that channel's super shallow right there though, so like, full trim up on your engine, otherwise you get stuck on there, not every boat can get back there. We've got a couple island party coves over here, which is fun. Sorry about the sunlight. It is rising. This particular, this one's pretty good. Um, and then if you continue on, this is generally speaking the south side of the lake, of Long Lake. It's a pretty good sized lake. It's a deep lake. It's a great fishing lake. It's shallower over here on the end. Um, And then behind this particular code, depending on, you know, how the wind is, is where you want to be. Because this wave, this lake can get wavy. Also, it's always a good time because sometimes we'll be um, out here. We'll be out here and um, when it freezes and uh, my brother's got a couple sleds. But one year we got a bunch of snow and took a sled out and we uh, pulled each other. He was snowboarding, I was skiing. It was, it was freaking awesome. Where the Michigan rocks. Y'all haven't been to this area or from around this area. It's uh, it's a pretty incredible spot. But I'm gonna review this video, make it about nah, 15 minutes long, see if it's decent, and then I'm gonna probably put this up on YouTube just for grins. Um. I'm not really going to edit anything yet. I haven't decided what direction I want to do with this, if I want to keep going with it, because it's a little too taxing for me to put on my Algorithm TTV Twitch channel. I have to lower the settings to, like, super low, and then stream it in, like, net 10, or 720p 60 frames. Otherwise, it gets real choppy. People tell me it looks okay, but... Anytime you have frame buffering from 60 frames per second down to 52 or 51 frames, there's there's gentle stutter that just doesn't really promote high quality. Um, you know, and ironically enough, I, I just purchased a uh, 3070. It's got a Ryzen 7 5800X, 32 gigs of RAM. It's running on NVMe. So, I mean, it's not... We're wanting to sink because of the trim, so we'll up our trim to about 3% so we can stay maintain glide or maintain level stability. I see, I haven't even figured out the terminology yet. So, over there you have Silver Lake, but we're going to come over here and come in for a nice little landing to keep this a little short as a short and sweet tester video. I plan to do fun takeoffs and flights in areas that I've been, lived. Um, you know, maybe just tell you a little bit about, give you a little bit of story into like who I am as a person and not just the, uh, online entertainer that talks smack and tells jokes and, you know, just, you know, be that guy. But this is, uh, where an area near where we live, it's not where we live. Um, generally I don't tell people what town I live in because it's good policy for the internet to not do that. Um, so yeah, long story short, this, uh, this Traverse City area is just absolutely phenomenal. And it's absolutely phenomenal to fly in and to fly out of it. You know, so today we're just taking you on a little tour of Long Lake area. Uh, flying out west out of Traverse City and then coming out, coming back west out of Traverse City. Coming in for our landing a little bit, so we want to make sure that we... We got plenty of room. We got 3.4 nautical miles in a small plane, so we're gonna bring down the bring down our airspeed. What I've learned so far, and I know you can tell me if this is correct, but the whole idea is to basically have your plane stall right before you get to the runway, so you can just set it down as as, as smooth as possible. Of course, we're coming in on runway two eight. And runway 28 is the main runway. I don't see a ton of these guys, these trainer planes coming in on it. Mostly I see them on the other runway going north to south when they're jumping, but I guess it just depends on the day, so. Control our flaps because that's going to want to make us climb. 
See, I'm still shaky. I'm still bumpy on this. But, you know, it is what it is. You gotta learn sometime, right? And so we're lined up a little right of the runway, but that's not gonna kill us. We can get onto the proper flight path. We're down 100. Bring down our flaps again. Help us decrease airspeed. And one more time on the flaps. Help us bring down the airspeed completely. And we're gonna start our glide in. I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to land. Let's kill the engine. Yeah, we're going a little too fast for that one, huh? Not a little bad, not a terrible landing. I didn't want to yo-yo. I almost yo-yoed with a little bit too much pullback there. Overall, fun little flight in and out of Traverse City Capital Airport to the Long Lake area. Thanks for dropping by. Subscribe for new content or head over to Algorithm TTV for other things on Twitch. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.